excited? Oh yes, I mean the whole of the communities in Thurrock are fascinating communities. So we're going to focus on Chadwell and Tilbury. And although Tilbury was perhaps the, the dominant, we realise there is a strong link between Chadwell because a lot of the Tilbury families either move up to Chadwell in their later history or, and, and have a connection. So we're looking at both communities and we just want to try and tease out all those wonderful stories about life, about family, about work, school and all the other things that go on. You use the word tease out. Is it sometimes for some people they they just they have fascinating histories but don't really talk about it? I, th I think it's true that perhaps sometimes Thorough people are a bit apathetic <laughs> um, uh, in the nicest possible way, but often because they've come from a working class family, they don't think that their history is in any way important. And yet, I, you know, I as a historian just love to talk to local people, say, you know, where did you work? You know, oh, I worked at, uh, in the docks. Well, what did you do? You know, and, and you have to tease it out, and then suddenly you find there's some lovely, true stories which you, you couldn't make up. And yet, on the other hand, local communities often bring out um, what I would call Jack and Ori, uh, folklore, and, and actually isn't true, but their own, their own history is actually more interesting. You've got quite a job in hand. What's on your wish list, so to speak? I, I would love to delve into um, some of the areas that communities don't talk about. Um, it's dangerous, maybe, but about you know personal tragedy, through, through industry, you know, a lot of people we know were killed in the docks, um, diseases, um, uh, early death of children, you know, which we, we forget about now. But actually, even 50, 60 years ago, people weren't surviving so well. So things like that. But, but you know, that, that's perhaps a little bit negative. Um, but it is part of the story that is often hidden. Um, and some of those jobs like you know, uh, midwives, you know, they were so important in our community um, and they were mainly West Indian uh, ladies who came over here to do that service and, and yet now some people, you know, a bit anti, you know, black people and yet actually they were here doing a, a fantastic service, things like that. Um, but also, of course, Thurrock has so many different people who came into Thurrock. I mean, even today with, with the group who are here, you know, we've got somebody from Scotland and, and somebody from Wales and, and whatever. So it's interesting to see how people moved here, why they moved here, and why some people who were here moved away.